Hi everyone, today I received uh, the new Mercedes AMG C63 uh, This is the DTM model uh, I believe these are uh, brand new This is a new tool um, I've never seen um, this particular vehicle in this scale Because usually, uh, as far as I remember, it was only uh, the larger scale which was available on past in uh, the previous years but now we have it on uh, one thirty second scale and is available both in digital 132 and evolution and this is uh, a very good looking car uh, i was a little bit scared because i thought it was a um, matte finish um, but it is it looks like it's a glossy one and the reason why I mention this is because for some reason, well, maybe it's obvious, uh, that mud cars will scratch very easily. And I have one example right here with this um, BMW M6. You can see the finish is different. It, let, it actually looks very cool, but whenever you are playing with them, you can see all the scratches, right? And I have a couple of other examples, even the LaFerrari in silver is not glossy finish, it's more like matte. So I was a little bit scared because you cannot really play with those all that much. Um, but this one is, is just a beauty and it is uh, glossy, so it protects the paint and they will last definitely longer. Um, so I'm very, very happy. So let me just take it apart and one thing that, uh, that is very cool about um, race cars compared to just uh, your everyday car like um, not everyday car but for example with the LaFerrari um, that they will also scratch very easily on the front fender and the rear bumper whenever you are racing many cars at the same time but these racing cars they have all the front lips and they have there is rear diffuser which um, apart from looking very very nice they keep uh, from scratching each other paint because as you can see if the guy behind you or the ghost car or whatever it is um, is um, driving faster than, than you or vice versa you see that it is only touching the non-painted plastic pieces so this is why you can um, play more without damaging your cars whenever you have um, more um, racy uh, cars from newer uh, models right so that's why I'm starting to collect uh, a little bit more about this type of cars and they are just um, more enjoyable you can um, see all the decals all the details are very nice plus uh, you can actually play with them without damaging them too much uh, another thing and i don't know maybe sometimes people overlook it is that these cars are actually meant to um, i would say kind of disassemble whenever they crash because the wing just will fall off but you can put it back in it is very very strange that when you see a part breaking uh, usually they will just fall off also with the mirrors uh, they are designed to fall off instead of breaking and, and they do come with replacements so that is very cool so because this is a digital one it will have working headlights and working brake lights so we'll just put it on the track and you can see they are very very bright there are some scenarios where they are not that bright because of the position of the LED versus the acrylic but this one is very very close to the acrylic that's why it illuminates so well we can just as usually turn them off turn them back on right so very neat um, one thing that is uh, very important is that and this is a, a new product and it seems that they have changed the motor, the electrical motor because you know, whenever I, I'm very used to these cars, I have a lot of them and whenever I play with them, it, you can see, you can hear uh, at the noise from the motor 
which is a little bit harsh. Oh, actually this one, just one second. Let me program it. Okay. Hmm. It seems that I have another card on the track. Huh. Anyways, one more time. Mm, sorry for that. So now we can hear. I hope you can hear it. But it's quite harsh. And this is not only this one, almost all of them on this scale, they will sound like that. And I believe it's because of the motor. You see, you can see and probably hear as well. Like every time the gears are moving, it makes this noise. However, in this new one, it's different. See? How better to say, do you hear? So it drives completely different. This particular one com drives completely different than any of my other cars. So only for that reason, even if you are not a fan of the brand for whatever reason, or if you weren't particularly excited for this uh, livery, maybe this is not your type, but only for the reason of having a different motor I would say it's totally worth it. Uh, so let me just disassemble it to so you can see it from inside. Um, I have I had already taken two screws out so to make this process uh, faster. So I don't really see that much of a difference in the motor, but it is just um, w way smoother. Uh, another difference is that usually on DTM cars whenever you disassemble them, you will see that this piece will remain on the car, as I can show you in a minute. I have this one as well, which is a M4, and I will disassemble it and show it to you. Okay, I just removed the screws, and I will take it apart. And you see, this piece stays within the chassis, and that's the same story for this one. But now it seems that they've gone through a different direction and they are actually um, having the body in one piece, which is maybe it doesn't really make any difference, but it's, uh, it's important uh, to mention. And yet again, we will have a closer look to the motor. You see on my right, I have the M4, which is the older one. And you can see how it stays in only just a couple positions. It doesn't really stay between this one. You see? I mean, I haven't taken them apart, but it looks to me this is definitely a better quality um, motor, uh, which I can definitely appreciate. Um, one thing though, and usually I don't um, like to say anything negative about Carrera products, but in the past um, you will see all the cars with the tires um, on the markings with the proper proper markings. This one is Hancock. You can see some. Uh, so this is a bad example. Sorry. You can see Michelin. Hancock again, but it looks like all these newer cars, they are just putting um, their Carrera brand, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't affect, I guess, um, but it's very cool when you see Michelin with all the details. It would be better to have those um, back. I've noticed as well uh, one of the um, Ferraris that usually will say Firestone. Nowadays it just doesn't say anything. It doesn't even say Carrera. But um, so here is my first look at the new Mercedes from Carrera. 
I totally recommend it. They releasing and they have released it on this color and also in black. Um, I'm just a fan of silver uh, and lighter colors, but definitely uh, the black one would be a very nice choice. They also have the Poldi Resta one, which is white, and it has some orange. And kind of you can see like the engine from the hood. It's not that it's transparent; it's just um, printed. Um, but it's cool. I, but I chose this one. I think this is the the best looking one. Um, so this is it for my review. Thanks.